Hi guys, Randall here. Today I've decided to EX Rafal and Rosa. I've been waiting for Rosa for a while, uh, but Rafal has been impressing me in manual matches where I've seen her perform, so I decided to give her a go, and why not send her through Arena first? Uh, she's a very fun unit, uh, sniper sub job, gives you access to dispel spread, which removes hate, and then she can run around and just ignore the enemy tank while killing their, their members. Or at least, that's the theory. Now, she does have one big issue where Ice doesn't have access to a AoE luck-up card. That affects all your teammates. So I have to put Starlet Trist on her for 451 luck. She could reach crazy levels if we had Secrets of the Heart, but then I would lose out on a great Ice PC, so it's kind of hard to fit. At 451 luck, she will be very accurate, and I hope she'll dodge a couple hits. Uh, all her abilities are on as well. Rosa is a really tough case. Um, her EX upgrade upgraded the Pure Prayer ability, which prevents all status effects for a while. Uh, well, a lot of status effects. Uh, the thing is, with the EX upgrade, it now gives healing power and spirit, which makes me want to turn it on, and you'll see early in the video, I do have it on. Uh, eventually though, I turn it off, because her AI will use this every time it wears out, before attacking. She will heal, and then she'll see if she has this buff up, she'll renew it if she can, and then she'll decide to attack. Which means that mid-fight, we're gonna lose some fights just because she chooses not to attack when she could. Um, and it's a big issue. Uh, I think because of this, you're losing out on half her EX upgrade in Odo, and Rosa is just not a good Odo character in general. Uh, she is fantastic in manual play, but you would have to uh, be a manual player to enjoy that, which I know is not the case for most of our divisions. Uh, but, so we'll have this on and off during the, the video, and in the White Mage job, all we have on is Kiraga, because uh, the other abilities are less good, and I want to try and fish for some AoE healing. Uh, in terms of stats, I'm trying to go midway, have some attack on her, but mostly have enough magic to have significant heals. So this is the total stats, 1000 magic, 800 attack. Uh, it's enough to do some physical damage, not crazy ones, but since she has an ability that decreases ice resistance, uh, it does set Rafal up quite well, and then she has two guaranteed hits just in her main job, so she's not going to miss. Uh, her faith is only at 88, don't mind that, put her in the wrong barracks, I have to get that back up. Uh, so that's a bit of an issue. And then finally, we have Lady Joom, who's our tank. I would have loved to run Freyevia, uh, but I feel like uh, if we have two healers, it's going to overlap and it might not be as good. And Joom is a great physical tank and we'll be targeting physical teams. So this is what we'll have for now. Uh, she has Fenrir instead of Araman VC because I wanted a VC that would give ice attack up to the other guys. So uh, that's how she's set up. And then um, in the first fights, I had forgotten to turn off Storm Dance of Vacuity and um, double resist, which was a bit of an issue, I ended up turning them off. Uh, so you'll see that she has a much better AI when she's not wasting all her AP on her limit break, and um, double resist just prevents her from going as far as she can forward because it's an AoE buff, and I need my tank in front, not in the back buffing. So I ended up turning it off as well. So let's begin with fighting a light team. This one seems rather interesting. It's slash resistant, magic resistant quite heavily. Uh, so it's probably built around spirit and fighting other light teams. So in that sense, we have a bit of an edge, but they have, you know, start with Elena, Engelbert, and etc. So it's still a very, very strong team. What I'm most afraid of is um, the fact that with the high luck this team has, they are going to land hits on Rafal easily. Rafal does have a very high amount of luck, but we did not go for a full evasion build. We don't even have a luck up VC that affects the entire party, so that is certainly going to matter. And then I'm still trying to figure out the kinks of Rosa's AI. Having her new pure prayer up is fun, but it makes her waste one turn out of three uh, every time because she will buff over using anything else in her kit. So I figure if I want her to use some offensive moves, maybe I should even turn that off. But then she's never going to use her specific uh, job abilities, so that would be a bit of a shame. So this is where I'm... Uh, I'm hesitating. Let's see just what happens. So June goes in the middle. This is what I was expecting and hoping for. So now we get an attack up buff on everybody, uh, which is definitely a good scenario. Immortal Conviction, I don't mind that at all. He's gonna have hate either way and re-raise and 17 lives. Uh, this is how the Light Squad does, so it's funny. Also, first time I see this skin on Engelbert, I think it actually looks pretty nice. So there we go, right his prayer cast on Joom, which is really good because it gives her spirit up, helps against those guys, but also healing power up. So now basically any heal from my Rosa is going to max out Joom's HP. 
Uh, so that's definitely going to be handy. At that point, Rafal is going to go in, and I believe she's going to take the lead. Uh, that could be very scary, because I don't know how well she's going to survive incoming damage. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so enemy start Elena is fast enough, goes forward a little bit. I hope she's not in range of Rosa, and she isn't, so that is pretty good. Rosa does not waste a turn right now. Double resist from Joom, not a big fan of that. Again, I kind of wish she had went ahead of Rafal, because now she's in a very dangerous spot. Throws out the Dispel Spread, hits both for significant damage on enemy started Elena, followed by a Surefire Shot, so we pop the Courage immediately. Uh, but our tank is not in range, so we are getting targeted back. Um, I am quite afraid of what's going to happen to Rafal here, but fortunately we have a healer, so if she somehow manages to survive, uh, we'll have a chance to heal her back up. So takes two out of three hits, dodges the Tonic Blade, which is great, uh, and then Yuna, I'm expecting, will heal instead of attacking. Yes, so that is pretty good for us. We use Tormund Rand and land the hit without the guaranteed hit. No, that was a guaranteed hit, never mind. On uh, Starlet Elena. So for now, enemy team struggling against us quite a bit. And our guys, why did they ignore Engelbert? Because we used Dispel Spread and removed Engelbert's hate, I believe. So now we're gonna have to go for him because he's the only guy in range. Uh, Divine Prayer puts us back to full life with a shell on top. Uh, and now they're gonna revive Starlet Elena and the pain is going to begin, because I feel like we're going to run out of AP very shortly. Especially, I'm thinking more and more as I use June that I should turn off Storm Dance of Equity uh, if I don't have bells on her, because she uses up all her AP. Now she's got six left, and I would need her guaranteed hit to be able to kill Star Elena a second time. So that is a... yeah, it's a weakness, I think, of the team. So let's see what happens here. She moves in between the two, uses Heavenly Wrath, kills Star Elena once again, uh, that was a guaranteed hit attack from Rafal, so I'm not surprised that this plays out like this. Rosa uses her buff. Again, I don't mind this that much. It is a bit of a waste, in a way, because she could have attacked, but it sets her with healing power up, so she is able to max everybody's HP uh, very easily. Rafal, quite tanky, thanks to all the uh, buffs she has. Takes basically no damage from the enemy Yuna. Then Aaron Scissor, we're slowly setting him up for death. Uh, chooses to Heavenly Wrath both these guys, one-shots Yuna, wow, Rafal has been surprisingly strong in this matchup. And then Holy from Rosa, quite likely to finish him off. So we've seen both magic and physical attacks from Rosa in this team comp. Uh, that is also pretty fun. And at that point, for some reason, chooses to evoke Fenrir over a basic attack, and so we're gonna see that happen. And yes, for our next match, I will turn off Joom's LB. So there we go, badass Fenrir animation, and we win. That was a pretty good showcase of our team. Oh, comes back to life, I forgot he had seven lives. But see, it doesn't matter how tanky he is, because uh, we always have the option of uh, ignoring him thanks to the spell spread. Here we have another interesting one. They have double light instead of an Engelbert this time. It's a Black Rose Helena, which I feel could be an issue, right? She has good accuracy, she has solid AoE attacks, and if she catches both Rafal and Joom in there, I feel like Rafal's not going to survive the hit. Uh, so let's see how we do against those. Um, my hope is that Rosa uh, will be able to heal Joom back up when she gets hit, and then potentially move on to other things. Uh, and I'm really wondering if I want the pure prayer buff on Rosa or not. Uh, I also talked about turning on her TMR ability so she doesn't use the same thing twice in the early turns, and I seem to have gotten forgotten that in between matches. So I'll have to <laughs> I'll have to solve that later on. Uh, but for now, we're all moving on. This beginning is a bit different from our usual, so we are going to have a strange-ish movement, uh, but it's fine. I guess it's because we're used to fighting enemies with hate that change our Joom's early turns. This is still really fine, though. It makes Rosa move forward a little bit, which I will not uh, complain about. So, enemy start Elena should be moving closer to us now. She should also have no courage, it seems. She really prefers AP in this case. Uh, she will have the re-raise, which I guess is even better than courage in, her scenar in most scenarios, but it is a strange beginning. We have Bells, very important for Rafal, since she has very AP expensive attacks. Takes the Dark Wrath, dodges it, great. Uh, this is what I like to see. 
cards. Again, rem remember that we do not have a lockup vision card like most evasion teams do. We only have a single uh, bestowed lock effect on her, so it's impressive that she would dodge that well without Secrets of the Heart or an equivalent. Now Rosayu goes for the Ice Crystal Arrow, does significant damage to Yuna, but not quite a kill. Uh, the Stormwind Ren, though, into that is enough to finish, so that is pretty good. And since the enemy team does not have hate, we should be able to attack uh, Starlet Elena right away as well. So it dies once, there was a bit of a display issue there, uh, but comes back to life with the re-raise. Now, we are basically all grouped, so we're going to take the hit. I wonder if Rafal's going to dodge any of them. The first Starlet Elena that attacked us, we did not dodge at all. The second one I tested, we dodged one out of three hits, and in this scenario, we dodge none. So yeah, enemies start up Elena, way too accurate for us. And then we take the Black Rose's Hex into that and immediately lose Rafal. This is what I hoped would not happen. Uh, fortunately though, we are in range of Divine Prayer, so uh, Joom now has Shell and a bunch of HP to work with. That is going to help us out quite a bit. Enemy Black Rose moves back, throws out the Tenebral Rose. So with this, I think she will have, uh, she will not kill Joom, but Joom will die to Starlet Elena right after. So this is now a very tough match where Rosa has to win it by herself. If my Rosa was 120, she could use full life right here. Uh, but unfortunately, she is not. So she just uses her buff because she casts that every three, three turn no matter what. Uh, and she shows us why her AI is really not that great. So yeah, had I not had pure prayer on for this fight, I would have won this. But because I did, she threw it away. Now... Here is a matchup I really want to test out. Mono Water with Farm and Lara Croft. So they are very evade and very accurate, which is definitely scary for me. Uh, the evasion we can deal with, but the accuracy might be a problem. And then they can do a lot of damage to someone like our uh, Joom. Uh, so Rios, I, do I think we're going to win this? I think we will, and I think the main reason we will is because we'll have a spirit up buff on June when she meets the enemy more, and hopefully more does a lot less damage thanks to that. Because uh, against the physical attacks, we do have good enough buffs that I don't think it will matter as much. So and it, our June starts moving in the middle, great, that will allow us to use target share on everyone. Uh, and yeah, maybe I should have put a defense bracer on June or made some changes. Uh, I've been trying to adjust my team as I go, not necessarily to fight specific enemies, t enemy teams, because I feel like that might be exaggerated, but just trying to have the right uh, setup for general use. Um, so now I was attempting to put re-raise on Rosa, but I realized that she prioritizes her Divine Bond over it, because naturally there's teammates, uh, and so now she's going to do this in her next turn, once Rafal has worn out, which may be too long. I wish she would be attacking at that point. So having a re-raise TMR will not be positive for me. Uh, True Shot on Joom does not that much damage. So far so good, but she's going to take another hit and have decreased accuracy. Uh, I don't think decreased accuracy is going to matter too much for us because she's just going to use a 100% hit attack right there on these enemy members. Uh, enemy gets a reflex, so that's lucky for them, but we do hit two of them with significant damage. And then what can Rafal do? Uh, she moves to the side and chooses to attack more, interestingly enough, taking her out. I don't mind, more was the best damage threat on the enemy team. So Divine Prayer, we're gonna get Joom back to full HP thanks to our healing power up. And at that point, oh, they do lend a hit on Rafal, which is pretty bad for us. Uh, fortunately though, um, enemy farm does not have high accuracy attacks like this in an AoE, so they're both going to take that hit. Lara would already be dead. Had she not reflexed the first, Rafal is not going to care. She's probably going to use her 100% hit. Yes, she does. And takes Lara Croft out. That was pretty fun. I am tempted to look at this one. I feel like it's one we might lose because of the enemy's raw damage potential. Uh, but they have a three-man missile team. Uh, where Cloud could also go to the front and deal a lot, of, a lot of damage. Cloud does surprisingly well against Joom, in my opinion, because he has a crazy amount of defense penetration, so he will be able to, you know, just hurt very hard. Uh, so hopefully we have some means of survival by just killing him first, uh, or not giving him more than one turn. But if they do set up a chain and hit, we are going to be in trouble. Another issue we could run into is if our guys have to chase the enemy team too far, Rosa will not be able to follow them easily with her heals, and so she might just end up being completely useless. I guess we'll see. 
Uh, so enemy Fred pops spells, runs to us, and then June's gonna move forward. Uh, some other thing that could go wrong is these enemies all have access to Sharpshoot, so none of them is going to miss a hit on Rafal unless it's from an AoE attack. So that could definitely prove to be a bit of an issue. So here we go, target share on Rosa, not great. Uh, June decided to go straight forward, which is strange. It messes with our AI. Now Rosa's going to use that Cure Prayer or Right Hiss Prayer again, which I'm fine with. Uh, but what's going to happen now? I really need this enemy team to walk closer to mine. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have trouble. Uh, but Joom is rushing for Cloud, so I guess the enemy gunners are going to have to move to us one way or another. Uh, Rafal moves forward. She is now in sharpshoot range of the enemies. Uh, but the sharpshoot from someone like Lucia will not do much in terms of damage because of the ailment. Uh, it does set up a chain, though, for, for, for our other friends, so... That I'm scared. Maybe this attack from uh, Frederica will finish us. Fortunately for us, Joom was in range, and so sh she was forced to hit Joom instead. So, Joom uses one buff, great. Then they should lose Lucia here. We do have the element advantage, so I was fully expecting her to die. At that point, Rosa's just getting in position. She's not able to do much. Wow, that was a lot of damage on Joom. So she's already pretty low, uh, and she's only taken three attacks so far. Piercing shot. Oof, she's now almost dead. Uh, pops Reflex on Cloud with another attack, which is a bit unfortunate. Let's see what Rafal can do, though. Uh, she can pop Target and rush to the enemy team because she's out of range. Yeah, she might have bow attacks, but her bow attacks do not benefit from range up passives, the way I've built her, uh, or many ranged up buffs. So uh, that explains why it happened, uh, but it makes my life a bit more complicated. At that point, I believe that is the last of the hate that Joom had. Uh, and she resorts to basic attacks now as well. Well, fortunately for us, Rafal should be able to go and kill Fred. Nope, not enough damage by just a thin margin. Uh, Divine Prayer Upgraded Version is an instant cast, so that's definitely handy. Uh, forces Cloud to use one more ability on Joom, and at that point, Joom is not... I don't even know if she's out of hate, uh, but she is down for the count no matter what. So Rafal goes, hits... Enemy Fred once more. Fred is now down. Uh, yeah, Rosa's gonna heal herself, but it will not matter in front of Cloud. Uh, Cloud is out of AP, but if she ha if he had AP, he would just one-shot Rosa. Uh, now, Rosa, if she had full life, would use it now. But instead, renews the right his sprayer that had worn out. Yeah, the more this goes on, the more I feel like I should just turn this ability off. It is not helping me much. And now we just group for a triple slash, and we're gonna lose the fight because of it. So, without pure... pure, pure Gosh, pure prayer here, we would have won. This time, let's fight this slightly strange team where they have a mix of elements. Uh, I'm really curious to see how they play out, uh, but they do have their ice component has an advantage over our wind, our ice has an advantage over Lucia, and then Engelbert has an advantage over everyone because he's Engelbert. Uh, and we're mostly going to hit him with physical attacks. This is the first fight where I have turned off uh, the Right Hiss Prayer buff. I've tested it a ton. It either works wonders or completely screws up Rosa's AI. And I feel, I'm starting to feel like she's going to have better consistency if she just doesn't use it. Now, if I was playing Rosa manually, it would be a wonderful ability to have because I could time when to use it. But because her AI casts it systematically if it wears off over finishing off a wounded enemy or doing anything else that's useful, I feel like she's just not that good with it. So that's my uh, my reasoning here. Uh, so we will try to meet with the enemy team and start to kill them. Uh, I wonder if Vesalir is going to be able to get to us. She moves in a straight line, uh, but I don't think she has the jump to reach. Maybe I'm mistaken. I guess we'll see. So Rosa begins moving towards the enemy Engelbert and the rest of our team is in range. I'm really happy that Rafal uses Revitalize every time because I find that this is a must in her kit. Uh, Sharpshoot on Ju, great, I don't mind that much. Uh, and now Rosa should be in range to hit, yeah. So Ice Crystal Arrow on Engelbert doesn't do much, it's a physical attack, so it's pretty much what I expected, but it does give him Ice Resistance down, so it is going to help our Rafal uh, deal some damage to him. So he puts Courage and Hate on himself, and now, hopefully, we'll use a Dispel ability on him, even though I kind of get the feeling we're going to use a Slash Attack instead. Let's see. Shadowless Blade. Well, that does give us Defense Penetration, so 2,000 damage on Engelbert is not a bad amount. 
Now, Joom is starting to be wounded, so we're gonna use Divine Prayer. And now that we don't have the benefits of our Pure Prayer buff with Healing Power Up, we don't heal nearly as much. Uh, still, it is more than enough for a unit like this. 250 from Engelbert, but another Detonation Blast. So yeah, we are starting to take some serious punishment here. Uh, hopefully Rafala can do something for us, like a Dispel Spread on both. Yes, chooses the Dispel Spread, great. So now they lose hate, uh, Haste and Hate, which means we will be able to pick our targets, and we don't have uh, to deal with their Haste and Agility as well, because that was a problem. Uh, we did group for an attack from uh, Visalir, but we're still alive, we're still good to go. And now uh, we should be able to pick our targets, go for Lucia, take one out, so that's one source of enemy. Uh, that we won't have to worry about. Rosa is going to be able to just keep Joom relatively healthy. It's not a high amount of HP, but with the shell that just stays added on top, she has enough to survive Vesalir. I think if Vesalir was in a mono wind setup, she would be too tanky, and we would not be able to do this. Uh, but in the current uh, circumstances, it is fine. Another Dispel Spread deals another little bit of damage, and now Joom finishes off Vesalir. At that point, there is nothing Engelbert can do by himself to win the fight. Uh, I do feel, though, if I did not have that much healing, it would have been a very close match. So we're going to renew the Ice Resistance down, follow that up with a Esper Summoning, it would seem. And I don't think I've seen Glacial's animation too often, uh, but it seems to just be the basic one, so not the most glamorous of evocations. And there we go, we managed to beat them. So my key takeaways from this was Rafao has been fantastic. She's dodged not every attack, but a few once in a while. And since we had a healer and a tank, uh, she was able to stay alive and keep doing damage more often than not. Her damage has been very impressive, which is something I've really enjoyed. And the fact that she has access to Dispel very early in a fight uh, makes it so that she often just ignores the enemy tank, which was really good. On the other end, Rosa, her AI is as wonky as ever. If you leave her new and upgraded Pure Prayer on, you have access to a fantastic EX upgraded ability that increases spirit for everybody and healing power, and in theory it's great. But her AI will use this every time it runs out before attacking, so she's gonna heal and heal and then buff on the turn that she would attack, and then goes back to heal and heal, and she just wastes her, uh, her ability to deal damage, which is quite significant. She has good damage. Uh, so yeah, it's really hard to make her work well. If you turn that ability off, then you know, you just turned off half her EX upgrade and she's not that worth running at that point. Uh, but her damage with the bow has been fine. So yeah, Rosa, not as fun as I would hope for, in Odo at least. Uh, while Rafal has been very, very fun. So, this is going to be it. Let me know in the comments, are any of those units interesting for you now that you've seen them in action a little bit? I know I've been attacked by some Rafales in manual play in class matches, and I've been happily surprised. Uh, I have yet to see any Rosa being played, though. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.